Okay, so we're looking at mixed exercise 11 from the first year core textbook. So we're on vectors. Um, so we've got a football player kicking a ball. We're given the velocity of the ball as a vector. So we're in sort of a bit of a mechanics feel to, to this question. Um, okay, and the first thing we'll ask for is the speed of the ball. Now that comes up quite a lot, often at the end of a longer question. And the speed um, is just the magnitude of the velocity. So the speed, I'm just gonna use Pythagoras on the, on the velocity vector. So four squared plus nine squared, just to clarify why that is. So the velocity is four to the right and nine up. And the speed is just the magnitude of that vector there. So that's why I'm just using Pythagoras. So that is going to be uh, root 97, and um, let's, let's, let's go to three significant figures. So I'm getting that as 9.85, assuming it's meters per second, yeah, meters per second. Um, find the distance of the ball from A after six seconds. Um, okay, so we could, um, let's do the, should we do? Let's do the displacement. So I'm just reading this question a bit more carefully. Um, what is it traveling with a constant velocity? No, it's, so it's a constant velocity, so it's going to be a constant speed. So let's not overcomplicate things. Let's just use, um, so a lot of you I know would have used um, speed distance times triangles before. So distance is oops, speed times time. So in fact, I've still got the exact answer to the previous, to the speed on my calculator, so I just won't clear that. Um, it's in meters per second and the time is in seconds, so that's absolutely fine. So that's coming out as 59.1 meters. Um, and then comment of the validity of this model for large values of t. Okay, so this type of question comes up a lot um you know not just in vectors but in any any sort of real life question and um it's just unlikely well unlikely slash impossible that the ball will travel with that constant velocity over a large period of time um so you know things like air resistance are going to slow it down it's um friction from the grass it might hit a lump another player might intersect it it's it's just highly unlikely but highly unlikely and, and not possible that it would travel with that constant velocity forever. Okay, so I won't bother writing that out, but let's just have a look at what that is. Yeah, so it will become less accurate as T increases. And then if you can give a couple, um, they, they always want you to relate it back to the initial problem. So if you can give some real life examples, um, and we just check 59.1 we got and 9.85 we got. 